Octane has a vapor pressure of 40 tors at 45.1 degrees Celsius and 400 tors at 104.0 degrees Celsius. We want to solve for the heat of vaporization. Right, we are going to use Clausius Clapeyron equation. And I do know I need to convert these temperatures, so I'm going to do that really quick. 45.1 plus 273.15, that is actually 318.2 Kelvin. And 104 plus 273.15 is 377.2 Kelvin. Right, now we're technically just going to plug things in. I'm going to say that's P1 and T1, therefore this is P2 and T2. So I'll have the natural log of 400 tors over 40 tors. The only thing I need to worry about there is to make sure they're the same unit. We're going to solve for the heat of vaporization. Now this is our different R. This is the 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Technically, it's the same mathematical value, just different units. T2 is 377.2 and 318.2. All right, we're going to solve for delta H. So I'm going to start with 400 divided by 40, and then take the natural log of that. And now I will multiply by 8.314 and divide by my parentheses, 377.2 inverted minus 318.2 inverted, close parentheses, equals, and um, going to flip that sign, so my heat of vaporization is 38,944 joules. We'll see that almost all the time delta H's are always reported in kilojoules, which is why the 39 is the correct answer. I guess technically it should say 38.9 because of significant figures, but I guess that's okay that I got it that way.